we have four returning players that played a lot of minutes. Okay, well, you know what? If each of you get 20 every night, 20, 40, 60, 80, wow, we're in great shape, but what are the chances of that? So everything people ask me, like, what do you think about this season? My first response, I don't know. Two-point game for the win. Shot, and UConn survives to win for the 76th time in a row. Everybody up here at Gamble, full house here in stores. Dangerfield puts it up and in. Hard to imagine a more satisfying win for Gino Oriema. That is it. The greatest program in women's basketball history makes history yet again. 91 wins in a row for Connecticut and counting. The intensity never seems to waver. What is it about Connecticut basketball that sets you apart from everybody else? We refuse to have wasted minutes um, individually and as a team. You know, if someone's out there, you know, they don't want to just be out there just, just to you know, run up and down the floor. We want to make sure everyone's being productive and working as hard as they can. Thanks for joining us for what's a rematch of last year's American Championship game. They've elevated their level of play as the season has gone on. They're playing their best basketball right now. Samuelson another three. She's seven for seven. Samuelson is nine for nine. So UConn for the fourth time in four years has won the conference title beating USF in the championship game. It was all about how we started the game and the pressure that we put on South Florida. And you're right, I, 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 don't, I don't know that we could have played any better than we played tonight. I just think that what we have to do is just go home and try to get ourselves ready for anything that might happen and, uh, and just do what we've done all year and hope it's good enough. And UConn wins the opening tip underway in our second national semifinal. William looking for an upset for the ages. Blocked by William. Time to get a heave. Chong! No! And this game is going overtime. Dillingham with it. Five to get off a shot. William on the drive. Pull up, pull up. Got it! She got it! She got it! One of the great upsets in history. Mississippi State has ended the streak at 111 consecutive games. It's over. As I said, these kids were way older than they were supposed to be. You know, they should have shown their age early on in the season, November, December, at some point. And uh, we just kept playing like older, older players, more mature players. It's been quite a fun ride. It's been a challenge, and I think, you know, unfortunately, it, it came short. But the people that we did it with, the, the help that we got from the coaches, that's irreplaceable. It's been uh, incredible, and I'm really proud of what we've done, especially this year, with uh, you know, kind of the gap that we've had to fill. You know, I wouldn't want to be with anybody else right now. I wouldn't want to be, have any other people as my teammates, and I'm proud of what we've done.